Hey everyone, Spider-Man 991 here with a quick vlog. Um, uh, it's really late. Um, it's about uh, 11 o'clock on Monday night. Um, I was gonna film this when I got immediately when I got back home, but uh, I had to eat dinner and I kind of got distracted. But uh, okay, so tonight, Monday, J July 25th, I was lucky enough to get a ticket to go see The Killing Joke, Batman: The Killing Joke, the animated movie in theaters thanks to Warner Brothers having having a deal with Fathom Events where they decide to show the movie uh, exclu for tonight and Tuesday night o only in theaters. Uh, there's two showings a night. Uh, I believe they're at 7.30 and 10.30. Um, anyways, I was lucky enough to go to it to it and it, it and fortunately if you didn't get to see it in theaters don't worry the Blu-ray comes out next month next week and also the also uh it is available di i believe it will be available on itunes tomorrow as well tomorrow or tuesday july 26th anyways uh but point is uh i want to talk about the movie for a bit uh first of all uh the year it because this is really ba because the killing joke is really a one shot is the actual story arc the story is sort of a one shot issue length that I mean I would describe the length of the entire story as basically a one shot issue or an annual really uh, <clears throat> so there really wasn't much th so the filmmaker so Bruce Tim and the other filmmakers decide to add some stuff to the movie to get it to an appropriate length which the entire runtime of the movie is about 76 minutes now first thing that they did that they did add what the main thing that they added was a sort of prologue to the movie where we see Barbara Gordon's last adventure as Batgirl before she retired and I have I have very mixed feelings about that um okay uh I have very mixed feelings about that I mean for one thing though uh, I think it's good that they decide to add the prologue because I think it gives because I think if they just immediately went to the killing joke and they just showed Barbara Gordon, not many people would realize, oh, wait, she's Batgirl. But they didn't do that. So I guess it's good to kind of remind the audience that, hey, uh, this is actually not just Commissioner Gordon's daughter. She was also a one-time partner to Batman. So that... So that's... So I think the prologue did fulfill that part of its purpose, but as far as a relationship with Batman, um, it is quite different than what I expected. Uh, there is one scene in particular where I just, it did not belong there. I just wanted to yell out, no, no, stop it, please stop it. It is just so messed up. Um, there, I mean, I don't really want to say what the scene is because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but if you are a hardcore Batman fan, you are not, that will be one thing you are, are going to have a problem with. Outside of that, though, the prologue itself, you don't really need it. I mean, if you're a comic book fan and you know about The Killing Joke, you know who Barbara Gordon is, and when you get the DVD, when you get the DVD or Blu-ray, I would recommend just skipping the prologue and just going right to The Killing Joke story. And I actually loved The Killing Joke story. It was, the actual Killing Joke itself, The Killing Joke story, it, it was very well adapted. I mean that very well adapted. I mean, there were a few scenes that were added and expanded a bit, just to expand it a little bit, but other than that, it was perfect. I mean, first of all, you have Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill as Batman and Joker, respectively. Those are the two definitive voices of Batman and Joker. I mean, I love Batman the Animated Series. I grew up on that. That was my introduction to Batman. And to this day, every time I read a Batman comic, those are the voices I hear whenever I read Batman and Joker's lines in the comics. So yeah, having those voices, so having both those voices back and filming probably one of the most iconic Batman stories was definitely a huge deal. It was very awesome and I love it. Um, and the dialogue itself in the movie is almost taken straight from the comic. Serious, especially Joker's lines because last night, I did reread the kill. I did reread the Killing Joke just just to kind of refresh myself, and I swear I heard almost every bit of dialogue said by the Joker almost word for word. It was 
very close. The only time I ever remember hearing that well was in the animated adaptation of Batman Year One. Uh, but man, they did a good job with this adaptation. I mean, obviously, because this was the one thing fans wanted. Uh, back in 2011, Mark Hamill said, after Arkham City, Mark Hamill said that he probably wouldn't want to voice the Joker again, and it w unless, and he said unless they want to do the Killing Joke, at which point everyone took to Twitter, there was Facebook petitions, everyone saying, we want Mark Hamill to voice Joker for Killing Joke animated adaptation, come on, do it, do it, and of course, they heard us, they heard the fans, and they were like, okay, we got it, we're going to do Batman the Killing Joke animated with Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy. And I have to say, it pays off. I mean, it is seriously an awesome movie. I, if you are a Batman fan, if you loved Batman the Animated Series, the Arkham games, basically anything with Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, I highly recommend you get this. You see the movie, I don't care how you do it, uh, go to the theater, try it, well, probably can't do the theater now, because, I mean, by the time you see this, it'll probably be sold out, but... Get it, di download it digitally, buy the Blu-ray, don't pirate it, that's illegal, that's wrong. But overall, make sure you see this movie because it is great. Also, I want to point out one other thing. The Blu-ray does come out next Tuesday, Aug August 2nd, which is only a couple days away from the release of Suicide Squad. To me, that's per... that is impre... I mean, I don't know if they planned it, but that is good timing. That is really good timing. Having one of the greatest Joker store and... An animated adaptation of one of the greatest Joker story arcs right before the new Joker's fil film debut. That's brilliant. That's brilliant marketing. But back to the main point. Killing Joke, the animated adaptation. It's awesome. Overall, if you love Batman, you love Batman the Animated Series, you owe it to yourself. Watch it. And if you're not sure about the... And if you know about the story, if you know who Batgirl is, you can just go ahead and skip the prologue and just dive right into the Killing Joke. Oh, and there is a post, little post credit scene, I think, that was just added because, again, back to Batgirl. But overall, I think, overall, the killing, as far as the killing joke itself, brilliantly well adapted. Definitely, if you're a Batman fan, you owe it to check, you owe it to yourself to check it out. And I would definitely say that this is probably one of my favorite Batman animated films. And I have trouble where where to put it on the top five because I already have my top five list made which I will release in a future video so probably within a few days so be on the lookout for that but overall overall check out Batman the Killing Joke because it's awesome all right uh, wow this ran a lot longer than I expected sorry about that um, thank you again for watching thank you uh, again for thank you again for subscribing to my channel did you get to see the Killing Joke while it was in theaters did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Spider-Man1921 saying see you later.